problem solving. I know as property managers and leasing consultants, oh, this can be a very difficult part of our job and it doesn't have to be as difficult as it is for a lot of us. I wanna take a quick moment to give you a tip on how you can work with current residents, even the most frustrated current residents to help them solve their problems because I get it, I'm with you. We want to service these residents and we want to handle these problems because we've got a lot to do throughout our day and even the smallest problems can derail us and can really take us off our game and we end up spending so much time dealing with one or two residence issues, you can in fact spend a whole day talking about a drip that hasn't been fixed in a week. Let me give you a quick uh, tip this morning that I think is gonna help you when you're working with your current residents. They're gonna be more happy, you're gonna be more happy, you're gonna get things done, and you're not going to have to repeat yourself over and over again. So yesterday, I was in Norman, Oklahoma. We were doing leasing university live training. Now there was a property management company that had me train two communities. So what we did was we got together at the larger of the two communities. They had a clubhouse. The office and the clubhouse were in the same building. So if you wanted to walk into the office or the clubhouse, you had to walk into this building. So while we were doing training, every now and then current residents were coming in and out. Current resident comes in, uh, her name is Mrs. Simmons. And the property manager for that property is like, oh, there's Mrs. Simmons. And I could tell this was not Mrs. Simmons' first time coming into the office that week. She says, I really appreciate it, Matt, but I've got, I've got to step out. We were right in the middle of phone training and it was a Saturday. And yes, I do leasing university live training on Saturday. If you want me to come out and train your people on a Saturday, yeah, I can be persuaded to do that. Even if it's in Norman, Oklahoma. By the way, I love Norman, Oklahoma. Nothing against Norman, Oklahoma. Saturday, Norman, Oklahoma, I'm there, baby, let's do it. So Mrs. Simmons comes in, the property manager is about 10 a.m. Saturday morning, property manager, I gotta step out. I notice they're having a conversation and Mrs. Simmons looks a little bit frustrated. Property manager comes back. We resume our phone training. I didn't get a chance to ask her what was going on. Well, we broke for lunch at noon and here comes Mrs. Simmons again. Now at this point, I'm eating my lunch so I can step out and I said, you know what, I, I think I'm gonna try and step in here and see if I can help. And I asked the property manager, do, do you mind if I tag along and see if we can help? All I did was I just grabbed my briefcase, all right? Now if you've ever been to Leasing University Live, you know there's something in here that we use all the time and it's super helpful. And I noticed this property manager did not bring anything with her the first time she talked to Mrs. Simmons. So we all sat down in a quiet place and I immediately took out, y'all are gonna recognize this, super ultra high important technology. All it is is a legal pad. Here's actually my notes from our meeting right there. Grabbed a clean sheet, grabbed a pen. I said, hey, my name's Matt. You know, I'm working with the community here. I hope you don't mind if I, I sit in and Mrs. Simmons said, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really frustrated. I, I hate to keep bothering you guys on this, but you know, all week we were trying to work, there's this noise in my air conditioning unit. All I did, noise and AC. I just wrote down noise and AC, I underlined it. I said, Mrs. Simmons, what, 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 uh, what's your unit? Oh, well, I, I told Tina about this. I, I'm in unit uh, 309, I wrote down 309. Here's what I want you to do. If you have problems with current prospects, please do not sit down, do not talk to them doing this. I really, I know, I, oh, I know that that noise is in there. We're gonna get, um, we're gonna get Jason in there. We're actually calling him in today. I know he said he had this fixed for you last week. He's coming in to look at it. Uh, we're gonna bring him in today. Listen, I know we had Jason in here on Thursday. He had said that he went through the system uh, and that he replaced the compressor. Talk to me about what's going on now. Well, it's the same noise. And again, I know we've covered this. What does that noise sound like? It's a rattling noise. Rattling. And where does it sound like it's coming from? Well, it's the duct right in the hallway, right outside my bedroom. Mrs. Simmons, are you hearing the noise anywhere else? 
Nope, it's just that duct outside the, the hallway of the bedroom. Is there anything specifically that happens that makes the noise occur? Is it when the air conditioning unit is first turning on? Is it on the entire time? Or is it on, does it come on after you turn it off? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's right when it comes on, it's loud, and then it quiets down, and it's pretty much a rattling noise the entire time the AC is on. Great, I got it. So if you mind, let me just recap right here because I want to make sure we have it. This is very important for me to solve for you. It's so unit 309. I know Jason was in there on Thursday. I know he replaced the compressor, and I'm sorry, we thought that, the, clearly we thought that's what was gonna get it done. It did not get it done. You still have a rattle. It's in the hallway. Now, it's the ceiling of the hallway, or is it on the sidewall? Ceiling of the hallway, right outside your bedroom. It's, that noise comes on, it's very loud, right when the AC first starts and then it stays on until the entire system cycles off. Correct? Am I good? Is there anything I missed here? No, that's pretty much it, Matt. I, I, I really appreciate you stepping in on this. She didn't even know I didn't work there. I really appreciate you. Listen, I know Jason and I talked to the property manager. I know Jason's going to try and get back out here this morning. Again, his name is Jason. He's the same tech that was in there before. I'm going to check in with Jason. It's noon now. We're having lunch. We're doing some training here in the clubhouse. We're going to break at 3. I'm going to check in with Jason at 3 p.m. and see if he's made contact with you. What is your mobile number in case Jason needs it? And again, she had already given her mobile number before, but that's fine. You just ask him again. She gave me the mobile. Let's say I'll give him my mobile. 303. Uh -huh. She gave me the mobile. I wrote down the mobile right in front of her. We're gonna have Jason call you. As soon as he gets in, I'm gonna check in with you at 3 p.m. We're on top of this. We're going to get it handled. When you write down a prospect's complaint or you document that problem in front of them, number one, it shows that you care. It shows that you're serious and it shows that you're taking the time. Number two, it stops them like Mrs. Simmons from continually coming in and telling you the exact same thing. We had the exact same conversation that the property manager had with her at 10 a.m. We had that exact same conversation at noon, except she felt the problem was in good hands at noon simply because I wrote everything down. I wrote down what the problem was. I verified what the problem was with her. I wrote down what my sequence of events are going to be. I'm gonna bring Jason in. Jason's gonna call you. He's gonna call you on your mobile. I'm gonna check back with you at three o'clock. This is a tremendous, tremendous way to solve problems to help that resident feel like you care and you're going to find that when you document things and when you sit down with them and write out their problem you're only going to have that conversation one single time they're not going to keep arguing with you so keep these with you keep these with you in your bag keep them with you at your desk if you have a resident coming in, you can see it. You can always see them coming. Comment below if you can see the problems coming before they even get to your desk. Make sure you reach for your sword, which is your pen and your shield, and simply take the time, have the respect to write down everything that that resident is saying right there in front of them. Verify it with them. You are gonna find that your service levels are gonna go through the roof. Oftentimes, it's not the problem, it's how you solve it. And when you try and solve something with a resident that probably was up all night because every time the AC kicked on, it sounded like a BB in a tin can. I actually wrote that down on my notes from yesterday. She said it sounded like a BB in a tin can. She's gonna be frustrated. And she has every right to be frustrated. When you handle her like this, you seem like all you're trying to do is push her away. But when you handle her like this, BB in a tin can, I love that. I'm gonna write that down and make sure Jason gets this BB in. It's a great, I really appreciate the description. Now, was it in the ceiling or was it in the wall? Notice what I'm doing here. I'm taking interest and in I'm making sure that I get all the information out. This does not have to just be mechanical issues. This can be, my neighbor is uh, making too much noise. This can be, I swear I paid my rent. 
write it down. Whatever they say, document it and write it down. You're going to get so much more done because you're only going to have to do it one time and your residents are going to be a lot more happy. Listen, again, like I said before, even if it's a Saturday, I'm happy to come out and do leasing university live training with you. We're gonna help you lease more apartments. We're gonna help you solve more problems. We are going to help you achieve all your goals in property management. Just give my office a call at 888-735-7451. And please, you can take all of the leasing university training on our online portal over at leasinguniversity.com. Check it out, leasinguniversity.com. It is the number one sales training system for leasing consultants in the world. And with that, I think I've actually got to head out. Uh, well, not till tomorrow. It's Sunday today. I have the whole day off, but tomorrow I'm headed to Chicago for another leasing university live training. I can't wait to see everybody in Chicago and I can't wait to see you call my office. I want to get out and meet you in person. 888-735. 7451. I'm Matt Easton, the founder of Leasing University. Be great and get those leases.